before we can get into the story, we need a little bit of background. The early church had spread throughout the entire Roman Empire thanks to the tireless work of men like Peter and Paul. But then, in 54 AD, Nero became emperor of Rome. At first he was a good leader, but slowly he just seemed to go crazy. In the year 64, the city of Rome caught fire. Now it was likely Nero who said it so that he could rebuild the city however he wanted. But Nero decided to blame the Christians. Christians were killed in horrible ways while people cheered. Peter and Paul were two of the Christians who were killed during this time. And then a Christian named Mark comes along and he writes a scroll. It is a story explaining where Christianity started. It tells of God visiting the planet as Jesus of Nazareth. When Mark wrote this scroll, he did it risking his own life because the words he used would shock any Roman who would read them. In a time of great Christian persecution, Mark was being extremely rebellious and he would not want to be found by the cruel Nero. Mark starts his scroll with these words, the beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. These words are shocking because Mark is speaking against Nero. When Nero came to power, he was described as good God of the inhabited world, the beginning of all good things. Mark is saying that Nero is not a good God, and Nero is not the beginning of the good news, but Jesus, whom Nero is persecuting, is. Mark wrote this gospel so that he could start a revolution. He wrote this gospel so that people would take their belief in Jesus seriously. He wrote this gospel so that all Christians would follow Jesus as their king, and no one or nothing would compete with the authority of Jesus. This lesson is one that we need to take seriously today. Even though we have no fear of being killed by reading the Gospel of Mark in public, we need to take this seriously. We need to live lives that demonstrate that Jesus is the only King. I refer to the story of Mark's gospel as the coronation of the king because everything in Mark points to Jesus' great act of power. And that great act of power is his death on the cross. Every story told by Mark is just a detail included only to point the readers to the death of Jesus. Now this is exactly how our lives are meant to be. We need to live in such a way that everything that we do points towards Jesus' death and resurrection. We need to be always pointing to the beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. We need to be like John the Baptist, who attracted people to himself, but in all things he pointed to Jesus. We need to say with John, There is one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I am unworthy to stoop down and untie.